Welcome one and all to Botany Manor. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I've arrived at my cozy estate to relax and research all manner of flora. But the types of flowers I'm dealing with aren't your average ones, but seeds that are rare and difficult to bloom. From mixing chemicals to setting the right temperature, can I create the perfect environment that each flower needs? Let's find out in Botany Manor. All right, here we go with Botany Manor. This is a new cozy exploration and puzzle game focused on growing a variety of flowers. Now this game just released today, April 9th. If you wanna check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it with a new game. Eighteen ninety, Botany Manor, Somerset. Oh, here we are. It looks like we're in some sort of greenhouse. WSD to walk, mouse to look around. What do we got over here? A letter from groundskeeper, Lady Arabella. We're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated, though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today. Bennett. And it looks like we also have a text overlay, which is always a nice addition. Collect parcel. Oh, do we open it? There we go. Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you have completed your research and will be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Oh, look, we got maps and chapter one through chapter five. Oh, we, we have no maps yet. We haven't explored. Chapter one, clues. Okay, so we have to work on filling all of this out. And we can also go back to the index. Very nice. All right, anything else in here that we might have missed? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's awfully smoky in here. Chapter one, a fresh start. New plant added. Got some seeds. Windmill wart, anemone februra. I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory, but I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. Potting instructions, place pot on a saucer, add soil to pot, plant a seed, and water the seed. So we already have the pot on the saucer. So add soil and add our seed and water it oh very nice look at it it's already starting to grow and we got a bunch of pots down here can i pick this up i can windmill wart and maybe uh place it over here in the sun seems like a nice place oh look at this oh the temperature we gotta find out the temperature. Oh wait, we don't we don't want it too hot in here. Was it at 20, maybe? Maybe it was at 20. Oh, we had something over here, didn't we? Oh, there we go. Ideal soil temperatures for Mediterranean wildflowers. Although we have to figure out we gotta figure out what kind of flower this is. We can zoom in. Oh, here we go. Oh, tab open herbarium. Important clues get added to the herbarium, where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organize and validate your research. Add a clue, the temperature chart in the conservatory. And then we also have this chart. So the windmill wart is a volcanic flower. Okay, excellent. Which means, oh, which means we have to figure out where this plant grows because it's got quite a range from 45 degrees to 60 degrees. Oh, what do we got over here? 
Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions. Postcard from Marianne. Dearest Arabella, on my hike I came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. There we go. Some locals told me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Mary Ann. Okay, so it's from Sicily. So if we come over here, we can see that it wants 60 degrees Celsius. Oh, and should we be adding these clues as well, right? Wildflowers, postcard. Oh, there we go. We found them all. Can we click on these? We cannot. It just tells us where it's at. So we want to go all the way up to 60. There we go. Excellent. How you doing? Are you, uh, you growing? You doing well? I got the temperature just right for you. Can I, like place you over here with the other pots oh there's like a pipe there's a pipe going here where does this go oh we gotta we gotta place it over here there we go and open heat vent oh look at that very nice it looks great oh and it spins like a, it's a windmill Oh, and we have cleared up the conservatory and have our first lovely flower in our book. The windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. Awesome. That was really cool. Okay, so can we like then place you somewhere? Maybe right here. There we go. All right, I think that's everything in here and we can head on out. Into the manor. Oh, it's right over there. Is there, oh, is there anything else we gotta look at? Gotta explore everywhere. Oh, here we go. Drawing from nature. Oh, but we can't, we can't open it. No drawings yet. Can we run? We can run. The game looks very nice. I love all the bright colors. Oh, there's something over there, too. Alright, uh, before we head that way, let's go check out what this is. I can hear water as well. Oh yeah, here. Oh, collect a key. You probably need that. Entrance garden. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Ring. Botany Manor, home of the Green family. All right, now that we have the key, anything in here? Nope. Oh, I can run. I keep forgetting. Should probably be doing that. Look at this. Looks great. Oh, there's more places to go. Oh, there's more places to go everywhere. Wait, we can look at our our map. Go back to oh. Here we are. Okay, we're here at three entrance garden. Driveway, conservatory, gatehouse. So to our right is a long hedgerow, and to the left is the orchard.
Oh, there's oh, there's a lot of area to explore. Let's go in. Let's go in the house first. As long as we can get in there. And we don't need a key, maybe. Oh, it's just we're it's just open. Oh, we have another another place here that we can grow plants. We can sit? Oh, very nice. Just take a nice relaxing breather. Taking in the sights. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed, and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to... Me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavors. I look forward to hearing about your progress, and of course, let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Oh, hello. We have a white duck. How you doing, Mr. Duck? Taking in some sun yourself, I see. Oh, wow. Chapter 2, Survivors of Adversity. Who left the fireplace on? Two new seed plants. Oh, take a seat here. There we go. Got to test out all the seats. Make sure they're in working order. There is a big old tree just in the center of our... Is this a parlor area? Oh, and we can put a plant here as well. I bet that's part of growing a plant. It needs, it needs to be near this tree. All right, uh, there's something over here. Lady Arabella Green, I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley, genealogist. Oh, we take a look at this. Where, where are we? Oh, bottom middle, of course. Arabella Mary Green. And there's our sister who is currently married. We got some cousins. Oh, and our sister has, has a child as well. Who was born in 1863. What year is it? 1880? I completely forgot already. All right. Uh, let's head off in this direction oh taunton to london paddington issued for return first class elderly discount applied anything over here no oh something's shining at me oh here's some more seeds fulguria ulix fulguris I came across the Fulguria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. So this one has five clues that we need. Blurry photograph. Camera experiment one. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks a little blurry though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. Interesting. Oh, this one's even worse. The picture is so dark, impossible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I've run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. This one looks good, though. Well-lit photograph. I'm very pleased with this picture. It looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. So that's experiment number two. This is experiment number three. Oh, because you, you, you got a good picture, and then you ran out of the flash powder. This, however, does not look like the... The Fulguria here. At least it doesn't look like that. Oh, look at this. Ash Plume. This might be a tough case to crack. Oh, this one needs seven. And the seed packet is located in the Rose Garden. All right. Uh, what's over here? Nothing much. Can we go through this door? Oh, my. Look at all of this. Sulfur, potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, titanium, zinc, barium, chemical disposal. We're going to be, have to be mixing things. 
The Art of Painting in Oil and Fresco. Oh, wow, look at the dining hall. Oh, here we go. Botanical folk tales. Some ancient Celtic tribes practice a coming of age ritual. This melt that this meant that someone was considered old enough. It was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. The gatherer had to find a fulguria, for this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Okay, so only blooms during thunderstorms. Oh, we can uh, assign our clues, right? Oh, wait, the photographs are part of the clues? I thought that was a different flower. I guess not. Oh, geez. This, <laughs> this place is a maze. I'm going to get so lost. What do we got here? Arabella and Elizabeth. Oh, we have a key to the back terrace. Maybe that's where the rose garden is. Lady Arabella, these past weeks I have seen I've been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles. Okay, back room. Something with flashes. It sounds like thunderstorms. We have, oh, flash powder for the camera. I bet we need the camera to simulate a thunderstorm. Oh, yeah, here, look at this. Oh, and we can place, yes, exactly. We can place a plant right there. And we need, oh, man, how do these old things work? We need to put... The flash goes in here, right? The bulb, probably. And then we need to have a plate. Okay, we already have a glass plate. Ooh, can we sit on the couch? Nice, comfy couch, taking in the lovely, cozy fireplace, which is also still on. Everybody leaving every fireplace on in, the, in this manner. Your new Lumen photographic flash lamp. Fill the container with flash powder. Close the container. Press the button connected to the camera and the lumen flash lamp. Witness a bright flash. Excellent. Oh, we need some... Yeah, we need to put these on. Actually, are these actual sunglasses? They might not protect enough from the flash. Okay, more lovely seats. So, do we... We put it in here... Can I bring this over? No, it's just here. Maybe I have to wait until I get all the rest of the clues. Oh wait, we have all the clues. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can go and start this one going. Back out here. And we need to, oh, we need to put soil in, grab our, oh, we can do multiples of the same. We can put a bunch of windmill warts everywhere. Fulguria, though, we're working on this one. Plant the water. And take it this a ways. Place it over here. All right. Um, but we need to... We need to put flash powder in there. So now can I pick it up? Oh, can I uh, click on the top? Oh, it says empty flash powder. Oh, that's why. Okay, we need to find flash powder somewhere. 
Maybe we need to order for delivery. And they'll come and deliver it. There's none here, it doesn't look like. Alright, let's keep exploring. And maybe just take a look at our, our map real quick. Oh yeah, look at that, back here. Oh yeah, now we have access to the Rose Garden, the back terrace, orangery, kitchen garden, and viewpoint. And there's still, there's still so much more here that is not seen. All right, so we've gone, where, where do we go? We went this way, so we've seen all of this. So back this way is just a bunch of stuff. Let's go. And also upstairs as well. Dartmoor, all the year round, home to breathtaking sights. Travel by train. Uh, this way goes out. Oh, look at this. Pyro files. Fire has the potential to be among the most devastating forces of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Their seeds typically possess tough shells. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. I bet that's what we need. And then some interesting pictures there on the right. Okay, so we're going to need to have some smoke aromas. That's probably part of our other flower, the ash plume. Can we just add clues already? Oh, the Dartmoor poster is a clue. Hold on. Hound, Tor, Whitman's Wood, Becky Falls. Okay. The painting room. That's to the back terrace. Oh, we're locked. We can open this, though. But before we explore outside again, let's go over here. And, oh wait, it's locked as well. Okay, never mind. We have to go to the back terrace. Or I guess we could go upstairs. But we're already here. It is a very, very lovely day. Oh, can we get in here? Locked from the other side. Oh, here's the oranges. Can we, oh, there's something right here. Can we grab this? Grab the key. Grab the key from... We can totally open this and grab it. What does it even say? I can't even read what it says. Oh, is that where the cows are? There's where the farmer was complaining about the bright flashes. It is so far away. Oh, and we can plant out here as well. Very nice. Oh, did I bump that seat? Oh, I thought I did. Nope, it's all good. Solid like a rock. Flowering plants of Great Britain and Pratt. Another lovely seat. Nothing over here. Seed log, a summary of some seeds I've gathered this year and the location I found them at. Cow parsley, poppy, buttercups, ash plume, oh there we go, in Wisman's wood, wood anemone, wild thyme, and foxglove. And is that everything? Okay, that's everything. Oh, here we go. Ash plume, we have the seed. We just need more clues. We haven't found any, oh we did, the seed log is a clue. Because it says the ash plume is in Wistman's Wood. Oh, that was part of part of Dartmoor. So it's specifically to that area of Dartmoor. Which might be important information. Is this locked as well? The formal garden? Also locked, yes. And this is like the, the lookout point. 
My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visited the Americas and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squirrels. They are the latest trend in garden decoration. All of my neighbors have sent for them as well. Okay, I was wondering, are they actual squirrels or is, is that the name of another flower? It was a great investment. The two squirrels have now started a big family and my garden is full of the darling little crit critters. Oh no, they are actual squirrels. <laughs> when they said the latest trend in garden decoration, I thought they meant like garden gnomes. I thought they were squirrel statues. They're live squirrels. One thing I did notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Ever yours, Grace. Oh, man. Introducing invasive species. Always a great idea. All right. What's down here? Oh, another door locked from the other side. Anything of interest? Ooh, what do we got? Thursday, Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She is so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trips. Shopping list, flour, egg, milk, leeks, potatoes, and carrots. Hazel Patterson, kitchen notes. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can get to the kitchen now. All right, so this key specifically relates to the ash plume. And, oh no, it doesn't. It just shows the key that we got here. I thought it was showing me which flower it would lead more information to. Oh, look, there's an area down there too. With like, it looks like a boat dock. All right, so now we can head to the kitchen. Oh, I can, zo oh, I can zoom while just standing around. So let's head back this way. I think the kitchen, where was the kitchen? It was on this side of the building. Somewhere, no, that was the painting room. Was it this way? Yeah, Wisman's Wood right there in the middle. There we go. Uh, open this up. All right, what can we find in here? Kindling. Dear lady, we received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present and never have admitted women to study at the college. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby tending to your garden and domestic space where it may be appreciated Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in a career in botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. Signed, Professor John Al Altringham. Uh, yeah, with all politeness, that does not sound like a very polite letter. And oh, I love that it's in, it's in kindling, right? Just use this. Oh, there's... How do you break... How do you break a mortar? How does that how does that even happen? The history of Dartmoor, given by our resident natural history professor, the press, press the professor will present how the moor was once covered in majestic forests and woods, how early settlers came to the area and cleared most of the trees for pasture using fire as their method of choice. It promises to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came into existence. Hazel's priceless recipes for the home, farm, workshop, and every department of human endeavor. Roasted chestnuts. How many How many do we have here? Oh, just this one. This is a simple recipe, perfect to warm those cold winter nights. You can use any edible chestnuts. They are easily foraged. The main difficulty with chestnuts is that they have a tough shell, but luckily, they're easy to crack open with the help of fire. Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait until you hear a pop. This means that your chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. So we might have to, yeah, we got a pan over here. We might have to do that. Blessed is this kitchen by grace and holy light. May all those who enter find comfort and res respite. 
Blessed is the heart with laughter and with cheer. May the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord, who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction, for this, friends, is the key. Oh. Remember the year of construction. That is the key. That might be important. That might be important. Oh, we have pipes as well. Going from somewhere to somewhere. Oh, look at all these. Are these weights? We got weights and measures. Mysterious symbol. Ooh, it's uh it looks like some kind of lamb or sheep with a flag. We can't do anything with it. At least not as of yet. Nothing else in here. Yeah, we can we can put these on, but we don't necessarily know what we're measuring as of yet. So I think the next step... Oh, there's a grinder here as well. I think that was everything. We don't even have any chestnuts. Oh, wait, this door? Did I try this? I did not. Oh, my. There's just so much in here. What is this? To someone special or oh, a romantic card. And dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. Who was... Was Mr. Bennett the groundskeeper? Hazel's the cook, right? The ancient oaks stand tall in Wisman's wood. Covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell those trees in Wisman's wood. They were covered in moss. Oh, is this another, <laughs> another duck? A porcelain duck. I wonder how many are around. I'm guessing Arabella loves ducks. Oh, look at this. We have different... Oh, no. We have different logs. Okay, so we need to burn the right log for the ash the ash plume here. Let's add our clues. The lecture, the cooking book, the poem. Wait a minute. Did the poem say what kind of wood it was there? Yes, oaks. Oak wood. So we want the oak logs. Can I just carry this with me? I can, but I don't know. Let's put it back. I don't know where I'm taking it quite yet. Oh, I'm taking it over here into the smokery. Oh, what is all this? Smoked food. Oh, it looks great. Is that already good? Can I just eat right now? Is this fish? Some smoked salmon? Some sausage? Oh, geez. That's just, that's just a pit in the ground. Watch your step. And then, oh yeah, there's a space for a potted plant right there. Uh, what was that? Oh, that's the door. Chapter 4, Home Smoking and Curing. Using the home smokery, the type of wood to use in your smokery is of great importance, though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences, or the preferences of the flower. Burning wood from different types of tree produces different smoke aromas. This is due to different chemical compositions in each type of smoke, and has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food, 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 smoked food. So in summary, choose your wood logs with care. All right. Uh, is that everything? That's everything, right? For the ash plume. Oh, page two. There we go. Excellent. So we have everything for both of these. I need flash powder though. That bottle was empty. And we need the oak logs, but we need to plant the ash plume. So I need to find I need to find a place where we can do that. Which I think the closest is outside in the back terrace. This way. Or actually, probably right here is the closest. There we go. Uh grab another pot. And oh, soil first. Ash plume. Water. 
I wonder if there's a limited number of pots or if these replenish themselves. All right, let's take this and head uh, this way. Yeah, this way. Place it right there. Grab some oak logs. There we go. And, oh. Oh, look at that area down there. Where is that? Is that the orangery? Place the log. Do I need to close the door or are we all good? Or maybe I missed a step. Uh, close, close, close the door. Close the door. I might have missed a step. Did I water it? I'm pretty sure I watered it. Dartmoor. Or maybe this is the wrong log? Oh, wait a minute. Did I pick the wrong thing? Let's go back. I might have picked the wrong thing. So, oak, maple, cherry, and birch. I gotta double check now. So, Wistman's wood are oak trees. Maybe it's not Wistman's wood. I kinda got ahead of myself, maybe. It was the middle one. No, it is. Wistman's wood. That was... We're supposed to go... Only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. Unless we need more. Dartmoor poster. The pyrophiles seed log. Let's go back and check. The seed log was here. Ash plume was in Wisman's wood. So that's correct. The cooking book, oh, the cooking book was about the, the chestnuts? Is that part of it? I didn't think it was. But there's no, there's no chestnuts around. Still here at the mysterious symbol. There's no ingredients here. Can I get up this ladder? I cannot. All right, let's go back. And try some more. I just need to pick up a, a bunch of oak logs. Maybe I didn't water it. I could have sworn I watered it. But it doesn't seem to be working. I can't even pick it up now. So it's here. <laughs> it's like here. Oh no, there I can pick it up now. Okay, so that is not working. We have done something... Oh, nope. We've done something wrong. Let's take it back. And it's possible I didn't water. So maybe I I do that. Oh no, I did, because it doesn't give me the op it does not give me the option to water. Alright, where uh this way? And this way. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. But let's go. It's definitely oak. Covered in moss. You know, let's go look upstairs. These other stairs that we didn't take a look at. This way.
or watch all these doors just be locked. Oh, look at this. What is this? A letter lock. We're not getting through there. Oh, and is this blocked? Blocked by tree. Interesting. Okay, so nothing up here. So let's come down here. And... Oh, what is this? Arabella's parents. We can also take a look out here on the grounds. Because we didn't explore this area either. Oh, where does... Oh, this just loops back around. Okay. And we can't get through here. And is this open? Locked from the other side. We have a lovely little water feature. But not much else here. All right, let's check on this side here. Is This door is probably locked. Oh, wait. Oh, what is this? My dear friend, good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we, meet, meet, when we next meet. I will never forget the Mar Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me in examining plates, you take the authority of others, whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. Yeah, what is this? What is... Oh, the cane. A walking stick. A lovely hat. Okay. Okay. Oh, the, <laughs> the bird topiary. The orchard, which is locked. All right, let's head back in. And... Come over here. Part of me wants to go check the gate to see if there's any sort of deliveries or oh wait a minute this is that what we need let's take a look flash powder bottle contains 75 grams of flash powder there we go Chemical composition, potassium and magnesium, a two to one, two to one ratio. So two potassium, one magnesium. Oh, we can make it. All right, uh, two potassium, one magnesium, and then what do we do with this? Disposal, no. Do we just dump this? into into the area or do we have to like treat this somehow uh let's try dumping it in there that seems wrong oh yeah look at that okay uh pop that down there close it on up oh we got this one uh is that good there that's good there take a picture Oh, excellent. Excellent. Look at this thing. The Fulguria only grows during thunderstorms where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. It looks great. Alright, uh, and then we can go... 
Where do we want to put all our lovely flowers? Out in the front room here. There's not much space out here. Can we put it on the ground? We can't put it on the ground. Uh, I mean, that's not... <laughs> that doesn't look great right there. Uh, up here? Can we put it up here? Oh, no. We can't put it on the mantle. We'll put it uh, right there. Uh, just clipping through the lamp. Oh, wait. Right here. Yeah, there we go. Sort of blocking the cameos. All right, so one down. We got one more to go. This ash plume. The poem, the cooking book, the smoking book. I thought I had it down of what we needed to do. Apparently not. Although, does it have something to do with... With this? Tough shell. Oh! A tough shell. This might be a tough case to crack. Do I need to put this... Into the pan first? Can I grab a seed and just stick it in the pan? Let us... Come back over here. I've already potted it though. So I don't think I can take it out. Maybe I just put the whole pot on top of the pan. Oh. Oh, yeah. I can. Look at that. It's moving in a groove. Oh, there we go. That's exactly what we needed to do. Excellent. And now that it has sprouted... We can place it here, grab our oak log, excellent, ooh, I like the look of this one, the ash plume, The ash plume is a pyrophile evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Its seed cracks open with extreme heat, and afterwards, the oak smoke from its habitat indicates it's safe to bloom. Alright, let's go find a lovely place for this one. Oh, what was that? Gatehouse delivery. All right, where's a good place for this? Right here, right in front of the poem, probably. I mean, right in front, blocking the poem. Maybe off to the side slightly. There we go. Away from the flammable... Uh, or it is flammable. Away from the... From the fire there. All right, the gatehouse is right over there. This is a lot of fun so far. I really like the puzzle element of trying to figure out how to grow these flowers. Where is... Oh, here. Oh, a key? Was that the... <laughs> Somebody delivered the key to our orchard? That seems odd. Ring the bell. That... I guess that was all. In the post box. Okay. Where? Oh, now. Where was the orchard? Uh, orchard number five. Oh, on the other side of the fountain. This way. Getting lost in my own home. Ooh, look at this. Chapter 3, Peculiar Petals. Two new plants added. We got some apple trees here.
We got some toys. Dear niece, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books, among them my beloved Piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational, though I'll take no offense should they put your little one straight to sleep. With all my affections, Auntie Arabella. The Wolf Glove. High on the mountaintops, so steep grows a flower that's hard to keep. Its petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit cheeks aglow. Okay, so high in the mountains, there's snow and there's whistling. Oh, more. With every step they hear it loud, the wolf gloves howl clear and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Okay, so that is, let's take a look at our book here. Oh, and we found all the chapter two clues. Oh, so there's different clues. There's clues specifically to flowers and just clues in general to the, the story or, or background to the game itself. Pixie Tears, this flower is closely associated with orchards. I wonder why. And then Wolf Glove, this small flower has long tubular petals. How interesting. So we've already found the nursery rhyme for this. The seed packet is in the orangery. Campanula Melodia and Oxalis Phasma, this seed packet is in the orchard here. All right. Uh, oh, and we have a lovely place to grow our plants. And it looks like, looking at this now, uh, we have six different flowers to do. Is this door open? It is. Is this... That's a whole other area. Okay. I didn't know if that was a shortcut or not. We'll explore that after we're done over here. Oh, look at all... What is all this? Microscopic slide. Red Campion. Foxglove. Oh. And we have a sketch of the cells, the plant cells. Those are like lined up. Those are not quite as lined up as the other one. Oh, we have tons in here. Primrose. Hyacinth. Spring Dance Shrub. Pixie. Oh, there's Pixie Tears. Interesting. There's no green down there. Bluebell. And Cradle Fern. Tincture of Iodine. Perfect for preparing microscope slides. Oh, we can put them in the mic. Could we put them in the microscope? Not quite yet. Chloroplasts. In the world of plants, the sun is the ultimate source of energy. Chloroplasts, small organelles inside the cells of a plant, are responsible for, responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. However, not all plants have chloroplasts. Some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chloroplasts over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivati cultivating these peculiar particular plants. Oh, hello sheep. How you doing out there? Oh, you doing <laughs> you doing okay? You got a bit of an animation. Oh, moving your leg. How you doing? Oh, what is this? Orchard mosaic. Interesting. There's some butterflies flying around. History and illustrated history of England. Priest holes. Back in the Middle Ages, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were persecuted by law. Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family home. Many of these so-called priest holes were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location. Because of this, it is thought that there may be many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this day. I bet there's one here somewhere in the house. Maybe behind that? 
Lady Arabella, thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see an authentic medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. I apologize again for not being able to locate the priest hole in your house. Although I am convinced it exists and we will find it one day, it won't be easy. They tend to be hidden well and sometimes require elaborate mechanisms to be opened. Kind regards, Professor Pennyworth. Right, what do we got over here? Oh, is it, are those seeds? Those look like seeds. Can we open this? We can. All right, we have the Pixie Tears seeds. And, oh, look at this. Notes on soil additives. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I have found the following amounts to work best with my different pots. Oh. Which pot are we using? The 97 gram one on the top right, I think. All right. Uh, oh, we got a letter here. Dearest Arabella, how are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's not getting to be too much for you on your on your own these days. Our mutual friend mentioned you have been struggling to germinate the ash plume. Have you tried making sure there is fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit you sometime, and perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. I can show you the book I've been working on at the same time. Yours sincerely, Charles Tucker Esquire. Uh, no, I got I got it all okay. And somebody left a half-eaten sandwich here. Oh, can't walk through that way. All right, we should probably add some clues here. The slides, the book, and the pot notes are all... Related the pixie tears. Oh, we can reset clues. Oh, interesting. Oh, so you can put the wrong clue with the wrong flower. But we've been doing okay so far. There's a big old tower over there. Lady Arabella, I've received your request for repairs to the roof of your garden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. It may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchard is known to locals as the Turbulent Tower. It is believed that a poltergeist dwells within its walls. Legend says that the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds upon anyone who dares enter the tower. I won't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost, and I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower, Willie the Builder. Oh, I'm going to be putting the foxglove up there into the tower for sure. Because we need the winds. Uh, let's go this direction first. The Mountaineer's Guide to Alpine Exploration. Oh, look at this. Be sure to wear the correct gear when climbing. The winds in the Alps can be fierce and changeable. It is advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with a grip. With a good grip. Wind speed and pressure in the Alps by location. Oh, where was it that they were? I don't remember. Mount Vicehorn, maybe? Botsman? Okay. We need to go back and look at that, that book. Tower Wind Research. Wind speed of 35 on the third floor, 50 on the second. Somehow my anemometer broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. All right, so we'll have to bring the flower to a particular level. Oh, we got another one over here. Very nice. Wait, uh, soil. Pixie tears. Water. We're just going to get this nice and set. Already growing. Place it up there. This is... Oh, this is open. Oh, things did not go well <laughs> down there. open as well oh this is uh this is a shortcut oh this is where we were oh and there was a key over here that's right on this windowsill we have the key to the painting room excellent lady arabella as you can see the staircase of the orangery collapsed in your absence i've already written to the builder in the hope he wants to sort it out Though, as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. I do apologize if this is getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you could find another way to the bottom level. I mean, I suppose I'll have to. I have no choice. 
I could I could jump. Dearest Arabella, we made it to the Alps. We are so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you are busy creating your herbarium. Yesterday we were lost on a hike until suddenly we heard a strange whistling tune. We followed the sound and soon enough we discovered it was coming from a tiny flower. If only you had been there to tell us what kind of flower it was, your loving friend always a natty. And this letter came from where? From Natty Golding. From this place with a ram's horn and a star on the top. They were in the Alps. Let's go back and take a look at that chart. Uh, this one. Doesn't tell us anything. These are all in the Alps. We have to find some more information, but we can go here. Add. Oh, geez. Do we have all this right? Do we put the wrong things here? Now I don't know. Oh, no, this is this is not the right one. It's this one. The wolf glove is the one about Alpine weather. So the letter from the builder, Alpine weather. Oh, and wind research, letter about Alps, envelope with stamp. Okay, and there's one more. And the seed packet is in the orangery, which is, oh, it's this, isn't it? This is the orangery. Oh, there's the seed packet. Oh, look at that. There's another one of those mysterious symbols. Oh, is that totally the priest hole? Okay. Go back this way. We need to check out the tower here. We have an anemometer and it's broken. Move up. Oh. Oh, there we put the the plant there, and then we move this up to the different levels. And then where else? Oh, the painting room, because we have the key to the painting room right now. That's right. Oh, I love this whole trellis. It looks great. But, uh, oh, but we're at over an hour, so that's going to do it for this video. This game is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this. I love the, the, like I said before, the puzzle aspect of gathering all these different clues, matching them to the flowers, and then trying to figure out with what's here in the environment, how to make them grow. It works very well. The game looks great. I love the visual style that they got going here. Uh, yeah, it just, it's just uh, a lot of fun. Once again, this game just released today, April 9th. If you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.